This is Ryan Howard, and you are watching JR Sport Brief. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief. Listen, April 15th is a couple of days away. It's tax season. It's all about the money. Hope you got your taxes done. Right now, we're going to break down and talk about some of the worst contracts in sports. I hope your situation is like these guys, a whole lot of millions of dollars. And I hope you're paying your taxes, but let's not waste any time. We're going to go into this top six and we're going to start off with that dude right there. Steve Nash, recently retired Los Angeles Lakers, a three year deal. He basically sat on the bench and collected $10 million this past season. And he said as much, I'm only staying around just to get paid. I guess he recently retired because the checks stopped coming. When you talk about some of the worst contracts in sports, you cannot forget your main man, Alex Rodriguez of the New York Yankees. In 2007, he signed a 10 year deal, $275 million to do what? To be suspended, to sue people, to make that guy angry, piss him off. Our fans don't like him. It was surprising that he actually got a standing ovation at the Yankees game this past week. Alex Rodriguez, he's very into himself. Yeah, that's an odd picture. I don't know what's going on there. Next up on the list, we're talking about your main man, Jay Cutler of the Chicago Bears. This dude is yelling at his teammates. He has like $40 million guaranteed on his contract. And he looks like that all the damn time. And you know what? You could probably say that that cigarette in his mouth, probably real. That one too. Guy's married to a beautiful wife tons of money. I don't know why he is always so damn miserable. Uh, Jay Cutler, the Chicago Bears, probably want to move this guy. Next up on the list, we're going down to Brooklyn. Six years, $120 million of max money. We're talking about Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson is one of my favorite players. Why? Because sometimes you don't know if he's going to be a bum. Sometimes you don't know if he's going to be an all-star. Sometimes he is straight in the middle. You never know what you're going to get with Joe Johnson. $120 million is a steal. Congratulations to him. And no, people, I'm not ignoring the clutch shots, but come on, it's Joe Johnson. Next up on the list, I'm going to combine these guys into one person. It's your main man, Albert Pujols and Josh Hamilton. One dude has passed his expiration date to the tune of $240 million. Another cat, unfortunately, has drug problems. Uh, all the best to Josh Hamilton. He can never stay on the field. Uh, that necessarily hasn't worked out for the best with him. <sighs> I don't have any jokes for you, Josh. Get it together, brother. And last but not least, talking about that man right there. You see him working out? That's about all he does. He works on those knees. His name is Derek Rose. He got a max extension a few years ago with the Chicago Bulls. And where has he been? He's the greatest rehab player ever. All the best to Derek Rose. He's a great guy. I hope everything works out with him the rest of his career. Who are some other athletes who you think are overpaid? who need to get their act together. This is JR, you're checking out the Sport Brief. It's tax time. Sorry to be the guy to remind you guys. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's JR, you're checking out the Sport Brief. Uh, get your taxes together, but before you go and talk to your accountant, make sure you click that subscribe button. I'm out now, folks. It's all about the money. Birdman style.